we can see that over time, due to political pressure, libraries made corrections to their categorization to use more politically correct terminology, such as people with mental disabilities, blacks, and sexual persons. Now, when Google was presented with the pornographic search results for black girls, they said that Google's not responsible for the search results. The results come from user choices that they do not control. So Professor Safia Noble asks, if Google's not responsible for the search results of black girls, then who is? Uh, Safia argues that most people see Google as a public utility, and this is very interesting. They see Google search as a public utility, like a service that we pay for with our taxes, like maybe they pay to maintain parks, for example. Uh, we often trust the results that we get from Google as the objective truth. However, as you've heard, Google's not a public utility. Since it sells advertisements, companies, industries, and even governments can pay for better rankings through ads uh, and search engine optimization. So we can think of the results of a Google search not as the truth, but as what some interested party wants you to know or wants you to find when you perform this search. The results are nearly impossible for regular citizens like you and I to change even when they cause harm. Uh, for example, Hristo Georgiev uh, was labeled a serial kill killer by a Google search result since his name corresponded with a deceased convict. Uh, in response, a Google spokesperson said, well, Organizing billions of entities in our knowledge graph requires that we use automated systems, and which often work well, but they're not perfect. Then the question is, who bears the responsibility uh, for people like Christo who can't get a job because of these search results? Well, it's us. We bear that responsibility. This falls on the public through unemployment, or worse, the prison system. So another example of how search results are not objective um, reality is by searching for competitors of Google when they are not the dominant platform. In June of 2021, Google was fined $270 million in France for any competitive behavior for favoring their advertising network over others in the search results. And when we look at these and countless other examples, we see that uh, search result manipulation is just merely another form of oppression used by those with the money and the resources to manipulate it. Uh, this helps the rich and it hurts our poorest and most vulnerable in society. Uh, what's alarming was not the image search results, but rather it was Google's corporate response um, their response was, well, sometimes unpleasant portrayals of sensitive subject matter online can affect what image search results appear for a given query. These results don't reflect Google's own opinions or beliefs as a company, and we strongly value a diversity of perspectives, ideas, and cultures. So... Racism doesn't represent your company values, but you won't be responsible for racist images that appear in your search results. By the way, um, the results for three black teenagers and three brown teenagers is relatively unchanged today, over five years later. Do you want to see? Let's see if I can bring this up again. So three black teenagers... So yes, many of the mugshot images, not all of them, some of them are still there, uh, but many of the mugshot images were removed, which is great. But if you search, uh, the search results are worse for three brown teenagers. So if I search three brown teenagers, it's all mugshots. And they're like not even brown, like, I don't know. It, it's weird, like, you're still getting mostly mugshots. Um, so again, like this bias, first reported in 2016 is relatively unchanged five, six years later. Now, when faced with an ethical 
argument, like gender discrimination in results, uh, Google will often point to free speech. So they don't need to follow the expectations associated with a public good or a public utility. Uh, yet the public treats the service like a public good and as a source of truth, as I had described, like you go to Google to find out the truth um, and you expect what it presents you is the truth, but it's often not the case.